little kitten, and it was a boy, um, a boy regular colored tabby, and we went on a trip and he was gone, and I was like, oh, this is so sad, but I always wanted an orange female um, tabby cat when I was a, a girl, a little kid. She only lasted for a couple of weeks. Sorry, this is so depressing. <laughs> I'll get to the miracle. <laughs> and so, what happened, she, we went down to the Humane Society of Pound Place, <laughs> and she happened to get, be brought in just like hours before we arrived. just like the exact moment when I was waiting in the car and my mom walked over and she had her and I just like I knew in that instant that she was just from like a total miracle from God and like the crazy thing is is like a lot of my pets would die and she didn't, and she's lived. She's 18 and a half. I never expected her to, I mean, I guess cats can live pretty long, but I never expected her to be around when I was like, you know, I'm like a lot older now and I'm married and. And uh, yeah, so, and they didn't even, it was so cool, they didn't even charge us. Like normally they have these fees and stuff, but because she hadn't even been registered into the system. And that was when I really knew, like, God answers prayers. And she's my little answer to prayer. Little baby. And she's been a good little friend. She's been through all of the ups and downs. And it's been really special to have, have her there. I'm sure as everyone knows who has a special pet. So that's a little story about Monica. Until we meet again, my sweetest kitty, Monica, thank you for being my constant friend all these years. I'll miss how you sleep between my legs each night, even though you made it difficult to move at times. Your sweet meow and purr when you're saying hello and invading my lap. Your adorable and perfectly placed white socks, gloves, and bib. You were adorable. How you would comfort me when I cry by licking the tears that would fall from my hand. Your cute, particular ways like how you only like drinking out of a human cup. Your cute quirks like how you love hiding under blankets and have a major curiosity for exploring every open cabinet in sight. But most of all, how you've literally been there through every single season of my life since I was eight. Childhood, puberty, teenagehood, college, dating my husband and gaining him as your amazing daddy, and many more. You were a great traveler and sport with being my wing girl, living in two houses on the ranch, two houses in Tahoe, Los Osos, Atascadero, Tahoe again, and now your second home in Utah. You traveled and adapted to change so well. I'm so glad you had more than nine lives getting past two times accidentally poisoned, trapped in an airtight box by a toddler, tied by the tail to a bunk bed by another kid, not to mention dodging all the coyotes on the ranch and in Tahoe, to name a few. you're just as loved in kitty heaven as I love you. You are my answer to prayer when I was seven and I'll never forget it. I specifically asked God for a female orange tabby kitten and he brought you to me. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you, you were my answer to prayer. Enjoy kitty heaven, sweetest fur baby of mine, until we meet again.